Hey, here's a lesson on how to play The Thrill is Gone and using the Aeolian mode and using all three of the main types of arpeggios, minor seven, major seven, and dominant seven. The chords we're gonna use for this, G minor or G minor seven, to C minor or C minor seven. Then we're gonna use E flat major seven, seven, six, three, three, three. You could also play that like this. We're going to play that to the D7, which you could also play like that. So G minor, or G minor 7, C minor, C minor 7, E flat, major 7, D dominant 7. Okay, so let's look at the arpeggios real quick. I did an arpeggio lesson recently, so you could check that out too. But here is the G minor 7 arpeggio. Here's the C minor 7 arpeggio. Here's the E flat, major seven. Here's the D dominant seven. Or you could go. Sometimes it's helpful to be able to keep things where you can do all the changes, arpeggios, within one position, but it doesn't hurt too much to jump out to a different one if you kind of see that, you see that laid out in a way that you like better or that has access to higher notes okay so I'm gonna get this progression going um one more thing is the aeolian mode the scale we're gonna use where you could basically play any of the notes of this scale over all these chords and they're all gonna sound pretty good but when you know the arpeggios you can play to those chord changes more exactly and get the notes that you're you would want to land on as opposed to just kind of guessing and not being sure what you're gonna land on so here's those notes, three, five, six, three, five, six, three, five, two, three, five, three, four, six, three, five, six. So that's the natural minor scale, the Aeolian mode, the Aeolian scale. Um, so let's get into that chord progression. Here we go. I'm getting a little loop going here. So four bars of that G minor, down to C minor. Two bars of that, and then back. And then E flat, major seven. D seven. G minor. And then I like to do those last two chords as a little tag there. So that's kind of G minor pentatonic. I could be playing notes of the scale. But I'm going to avoid this one until... See, that's in that C minor chord. So it's nice to wait and play that on that, and then maybe you avoid it. Now I'm going to go to this. And then you get a little harmonic minor happens at the end there when you have that D7 into it. Goes G minor. See, so playing off that note brings out that chord. Then it kind of goes away back to this note of that chord. So one thing that happens here is we have this main scale that we're using. So there would be the arpeggio kind of thing in. Now that note from that D7, that makes it like a harmonic minor, minor scale for a minute because normally we'd have that note. You know, we got the scale going like up here, but when we put that note in there, we've modulated slightly, so it's cool to really bring out something on that note. Okay, back to C minor. So that was a note, I just put a little flat fifth note in there, say I was kind of thinking I was in C minor pentatonic with a little flat fifth in there, kind of. 
That little note, that F sharp, there's that F sharp, that note that modulates. Getting that little bluesy thing where you get that little, that half step in there can be cool too. I like to do that a lot. Now we could look at some higher positions up here. Here goes the G, G minor seven arpeggio. I'm going to C minor seven. And don't always start low, you know. Start in the middle, start up high sometimes. Here goes the top of this. Here's the D7, that was the E minor, uh, E flat, major seven before that. Now I can think of the scale notes. Going down to the 8th fret, put me easily into that C minor 7 or place, right? E flat, major 7, D7 to G. every now and again. Okay, now you try it. So it's G minor 7, and you can be playing the whole scale. And you can, now you might think about this, and that little shape of that C there next to the shape of the G. Then you got your E flat major 7, D7. You can also just go up those little notes one at a time, that's arpeggiating a chord too. There goes the 1 again, G minor. You got little positions, like think about your G minor pentatonic stuff. There's your C, your four note. There's the one. Now think about it down here. Here goes that E flat to D. Here in this spot, tenth fret. on jamming. Talk to you soon. This is Damon. Like and subscribe. Thank you.